All right, this is my second recording of this repair. This time I'm gonna have audio along with it. Um, this is the failure, as you can see, just the lights, any button you press, all the lights just come on and off. It's the Iceland board. And uh, what I'm doing here is just uh, gonna be soldering in this uh, 10 microfarad capacitor that's defective. You can see it's not bubbled up, um, but it is definitely defective. And you can see it's not even registering on my meter as being a, a capacitor. It's showing it. Yeah, it's just showing off the chart there. Should be around the middle of the scale. This is what the new one should uh, test like. So that's what it should be there. Okay. So it's uh, de just desoldering uh, the capacitor. And you want to make sure when you put the new capacitor in, if the leads are too... Um, thick uh, compared to the old ones I use this uh, hand drill uh, to just widen that hole a, a little bit it works great and uh, yeah as far as the capacitor when you put it in you want to make sure that uh, the polarity um, is correct there we go just put it in all the way and you want to make sure that the can size is about the same. Uh, this again, 10 microfarad, 50 volts. And you want to separate the leads um, so that it just holds in place until you solder it in. Go ahead and solder it. I use my desoldering gun to solder it in just because it's quite handy. And just trim the leads. I use these flush cutters, they work really great. And that's it. There's your board, new capacitor in there. You can use a 10 times jeweler's loop and a flashlight uh, to really get in and inspect that, uh, those contacts. Now this customer also had the, uh, the ice at the bottom of the freezer, so I put a, a P-trap uh, kit in there. And this is where the, their kid took a beat hook to that ice. <laughs> So, um, this is uh, just testing it out. Everything's looking good. Test the compressor's coming on, the fans are coming on, and all the functions are working good. So, this is the uh, cost of the board, brand new. Um, I charged him $320 for this repair, and he was quite happy with that. I'd say if other local companies came out, they'd probably charge them 600 to put the board in and put the peak trap kit in there. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.